Okay, good morning, Detroit. This is address 19001 Trinity Street. 19001 Trinity, just south of Seven Mile Road. I was rolling down Seven Mile Road this morning on my Detroit bike blight patrol and I looked down the street and this is the trash that I saw. This house right here. All right, what makes this street unique to the wood dog, that's wood dog, W-O-O-D-D-A-W-G, is that this is not the only house near this house. All right, now you gotta check this out, Detroit. Here I go, right across the street from 19001 Trinity is another house. Walking up on it right now windows open door missing okay and it's wide open to the public so why don't we just take a look see all right here we go living room trashed that's the upstairs not going up there here's the kitchen stripped out okay here's the bathroom stripped out and smashed just like in my other videos kids toys toilet in the bedroom I don't know what's in there don't care but Detroit this street right here has to go but you got the millionaire and billionaire developers downtown requesting permits to build apartment buildings along Atwater okay all up and down Woodward on brush north of Gratiot and this is actually what the city of Detroit looks like in the neighborhoods they're not bringing none of that billion dollar investment to the city of Detroit but they got billions of dollars okay now here's another house right next to the house that I just walked out of okay here we go windows here's my Detroit Cadillac and for those of you who don't know I do ride my bike I'm in the Davidson and Livernois area, and here I am on Seven Mile and Trinity. If you got the legs to keep up, join me. I need some help. Here we go. No address on this house. Like I said, the neighbors and the people in the community, they'll come and strip the addresses off of the house because they don't want people to know where these houses are at. I wonder if the Detroit Land Bank knows where this house is at. Look like the kids know where it's at. Cause they in here spray painting and tagging and doing what they want to do up in here. I don't know what kind of tag this is. Okay, you got that choice word on the wall. And then you got a scripture on that wall. So that's like a oxymoron or whatever you want to call it. All the windows in this house are missing. Okay, here you go. Going to the kitchen. Kitchen stripped out, busted out. Okay. Now this house got some good stairs on it, like some good carpentry work was done. But what happened? They seem pretty sturdy. We're gonna go upstairs and take a look see. All right, here we go. We're upstairs. All right, there's nothing up here. They done, like they done took the fixtures out, busted a hole in the wall. There's a hole in the roof right there. Well, they did a number on this sucker. Let's see. Let's go around up here. Okay, I guess that's the end of this upstairs on this side of the house. Let's go back down. But Detroit, you just hold on one sec. The wood dog got something to tell you that's going to resonate with you. And if you watch my videos, you know I'm 100. This is not for comedy. This is serious business. This is what I do. This is the backyard to the house. Looks like Vietnam. Okay. You're going to need Agent Orange to defoliate this sucker. All right. So there you go. Okay. These are stairs going down to the basement. All right. You can see that's about as far as I'm going to go. They don't strip the pipes out and everything down there. So I'm going to go back out and I got some more for you. So I know sometimes these videos get a little repetitive. They're only repetitive in the damage and destruction that you see. But each message that I do on a video is different. All right. 
there's a Detroit Cadillac now we're gonna walk right out the front door of that house that's the first house I did that's the second one this is the third one I just came out of okay here's a broken down tree here's trash and debris in the driveway look at that another one right across the street Detroit all right now this street right here is something else see these out of the way locations the city don't even care about city council don't care about but you see them on tv want to back up four time felons in the senate who's been charged by the attorney general bill shooting for lying and stealing to everybody they got time to do a press conference with him but they don't have a time they don't have the time to come out in the neighborhood like i do and let everybody know what's going on with these houses trees done grew up in this front of this house okay I don't see an address on it, but it's next door to 19001 Trinity Street. Okay, this probably used to be a garage. It's empty. Okay, this is probably a breezeway going into the house. All right, this is what we got to deal with, Detroit. All right, our city council people are on TV standing next to felons talking about they could be next. Well, you can only be next on the attorney general's list if you break in the law. Okay, you stop breaking the law, you don't have to worry about Bill Schuette, you don't have to worry about Kim Worthy, you don't have to worry about James Craig and his officers, you don't have to worry about our fine sheriff being Napoleon throwing you up in his jail for acting a fool in the, in the community. All right, now, as we keep walking, there's trash. There you go, Detroit. All right, now, right across the street is another one. Okay, this one is even more burnt up than the last two few I just walked away from. Here's a stump in the front yard. No address on the house, okay? But check this out. The house has been tagged. So let's just go take a look-see and see what this tag says. All right, here we go, Detroit. Wayne County Treasurer's Office. There's the date on it. I can see it through the plastic. It says January 26th, 2016, 2.30 p.m. So that's when a hearing and show cause was supposed to be done on this house. Okay. Now, nobody has even took this off the house to read it. Okay. Nobody's been here. But it show the arsonist has been here. Check it out. It's burnt out from front to back, Detroit. Look like the roof about to cave in. Okay. I can tell somebody's been in there. There's a bright red bag right there. There's the fireplace. Wasn't no fire set in the fireplace, but it was sure was a fire set in this house. This is probably one of the most burnt up crispy houses I've ever been in. Now this is a mess. Alright. Now once again, to our to our mayor. Let me watch where I'm going. See that Detroit? Okay, back to this foreclosure notice here on this house. They're going to come over here and tag a house for foreclosure after it's been burnt. Okay, now does that make any sense to you, Detroit? Now look at this. It's dated January 26th. So this ha here it is, July. July 2nd, 2016. And he got a treasury notice on the house after it's been burnt. This wasn't here when this house was burnt. This is plastic and paper. This would have been burnt up. So they come out here. Look at this address and put a foreclosure on it. Who knows? This house has been standing so long, it doesn't even smell like it's been burnt. So that is going to show you that it's verifying this date of January 26 on these papers. Okay, because if you walk into a house and it's been burnt like this to a crisp, okay, and you don't even smell any embers burning or nothing, that means this house has been standing for months, at least six, seven months. Okay, the backyard is like Vietnam. No need to go back there. Okay, Detroit, there's another one right across the street. There's another. On Trinity Street, this is south of Trinity, south of Seven Mile on Trinity Street, near address 19001. Okay, there's no address on this house. Okay, not a mathematician, but you got the law. Oh, there is an address on this house. This address is 18967 Trinity Street. 18967 Trinity Street. There's nobody there.
but at the minimum it's boarded up Detroit so I give them a pass on this one it's boarded up okay you're going to the back uh, the back door look like it's kicked in I mean you know the drill I mean the uh, garage door I can see underneath is full of trash back there so there you go okay going kind of fast because I want to cover these houses on this street okay here's another one right across the street it's been burned up too so let's just go check that one out that's one sitting back there there's nobody there grass is knee high this address is 18958 Trinity Street okay wow here, here we go now you don't even have to go into this house to see in it you can see in it right from the front yard from front to back all right Detroit there is more to the city of Detroit than Atwater Street there's more to the city of Detroit than the River Rock Hart Plaza campus marshes there's more to Detroit than Belle Isle that the state is taking their sweet butt time cutting down the overgrown trees along the water line but we're not going to even go there because that's the state's problem since they wanted it so bad but good job state of Michigan on refurbishing the fountain on Belle Isle thank you very much all right there's more to Detroit than grass it running into uh downtown the CompuWare building there's more to the city of Detroit than downtown downtown is only a small part of the city of Detroit it's about the size of a quarter compared to the rest of the size of the city of Detroit the city of Detroit is 140 square miles and they're all concerned about three square miles in the city okay how about that now the wood dog has told you what's up you seen what I wanted you to see you saw what I saw and I'm telling you that our city council needs to put more energy and time in the city in abolishing blight instead of standing in front of TV cameras backing up four-time felons that's about to go to prison give me a break okay not name dropping the names that I dropped are on a positive note okay this is what we got Detroit blight on top of blight there's another house back there the address on this house is on that pole right there there you go Detroit 18970 Trinity Street another abandoned house for you somebody's been back there dumping all that garbage in the in the driveway weeds are whew, almost as tall as me Detroit so the wood dog has told you what's up you know what I'm about I'm the wood dog and I'm out peace